After eight months of living in my van, I've learned some things. Here are seven lessons I've learned from living in my van. First thing I learned in van life is whoever you are before you moved into your van is the same person you're gonna be after you move into your van. So if you're not an active person, you're gonna be lazy in your van. And that's not healthy. So for me, what I've started doing is every day, I make a point to take a walk. Staying active serves a couple really important functions for van life. When you are driving all the time, and especially if you're in a van where you can't stand up, your blood flow isn't actually moving very well. So it's important for you to get out of your van at least once, but hopefully a couple times a day. And really take a long walk, go to the gym, get some exercise, make sure that you aren't having blood pulling in your legs and you aren't swelling in weird places. It's an important part of general health. So when you see a lot of van lifers, quote unquote, making it look glamorous with their yoga on their sprinters, they're actually doing something pretty important and that is making sure that van life doesn't kill them. Look at the mortality statistics for truck drivers and then reconsider your thoughts on yoga. And while you're at it, it's also important to get some time each day where you're not active. Some time where you're just being in the moment. If you can't do 30, even 10 minutes helps. Lesson number two, keep an eye out for other van lifers. When you see other van lifers who've been in the same location for a little bit, it's a good clue that the local people and the police are pretty friendly and that maybe you can stretch your two day or three day parking rule just a little bit. It's a good sense of peace of mind. That said, if you do see other van lifers, don't park right up next to them. There's nothing worse that will piss people off than seeing a whole stream of vans in front of their house. Make sure you spread it out. One of the reasons why a lot of people go to van life is to save money. And yes, you can save a lot of money living in your van, but you can also spend a lot of money living in your van. And one of the biggest money sucks that I've learned in my eight months living in the van is dishes. So yes, this sounds odd, but if you don't do your dishes, you are liable to wake up in the morning and think, I have to do dishes before I can cook. And that will lead you to think, well, maybe I won't cook today. Maybe I'll go pick something up. And nothing will suck money faster from your van life savings than eating out. So do your dishes, use your pots and pans, learn to cook inside your van. Don't only cook outside, you know, because there's gonna be days when it's cold or areas where it's not really great to be cooking outside your van. So just make a point to get used to doing dishes in your van, cooking inside your van, keeping food in your van that maybe doesn't need refrigerated. These are things that are gonna save you a lot of money because let me tell you, it's gonna suck if at the end of the month you've spent maybe $200 on bills, 200 bucks on gas, and $400 on food for one person. Learn to cook inside your van. It's not so much that anywhere is home, it's that everywhere is home. Van life is full of surprises. The fewer expectations you have, the easier it is, and the more fun you'll have. If you come into it with a lot of really excited expectations, it's gonna look like an Instagram picture, you're gonna be disappointed. Because there's gonna be upsides, but there's also gonna be a lot of downsides. But if you come into it with no expectations at all, van life is like one of the most amazing adventures. So yeah. I mean, I've been broken down for days, and I've got another five days to go until I can buy a new alternator. But I'm still happy. Why am I happy? Why am I content? Because this is an adventure, and there's so much to see. And getting stuck here means that I get to explore here, and that's kind of cool. 
van life, van dwelling, car dwelling, whatever you want to call it. It can get pretty lonely if you're already a hermit and you don't make any concerted efforts to go out and have fun. But even if you're a hermit, you don't have to be lonely. It may be harder to make really long, rooted friendships, but you can still make friends because the truth is, there are no strangers. They're just people you haven't met yet. Van life doesn't solve all your problems. It just makes it easier for you to recognize them and make plans to solve them. It takes away all the distractions and then your problems come into much sharper focus.